Quiet on the set. No, I've always heard them called poinsettias. That's how I've always heard them. Well, I've always heard it pronounced poinsettias. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Look it up if you don't believe me. Hey, guys, guys, stop arguing. How to say poinsettias, we're on. See, I told you, Noah, that's how you say poinsettias. <clears throat> Good morning, Legacy. It's time to get your news on coming, you from you, coming to you live from the Legacy Pumpkin Patch. This is Monday, November 4th, and we have a terrific show planned for you today. Hi, I'm Noah. Wait a minute. Legacy doesn't have a pumpkin patch. What are you talking about? Oh, and by the way, guys, my name's Olivia. Yeah, you're right, Olivia. We really don't have a pumpkin patch, but we can pretend, right? We can pretend we have our very own pumpkin patch. Everyone wants one of those. Hi, everyone. I'm Avery. That's right, Avery. Through the miracle of broadcasting magic, we can be anywhere we want. How about California? Or maybe China? What about Washington, D.C.? Wait, I have a great idea. What about the moon? Those are all great places, guys. But hey, there I say, there's like no places like home. Okay, it's time to honor our flag and country. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Check this out. Get ready for some news you can use. It's time to get informed. Hey guys, this month's restaurant night's California Pizza Kitchen. Have I mentioned I love that place? Only a bazillion times, but hey, I love it too. Remember, when you go to California Pizza Kitchen at Stonebriar Mall this Tuesday and Wednesday, part of the money you spend comes back to the school. Eat more pizza! Calling all extra Halloween candy. That's right, if you have extra candy from Halloween, bring it to our candy carling. That will take place on November 7th and 8th in the afternoons. Candy collected will be used in the Veterans Day Parade and to bless our Buckner children. Remember guys, this year we're celebrating our 15th year as a school. One of the ways we're celebrating is by giving back or blessing others. We've already had a school supply drive and a food drive. Saturday, November 16th will be a family service day. We'll bring you more details on that later as we get them. Okay guys, that's it for the news. report the current and future atmospheric conditions. <clears throat> Translation, it's time for the weather report. Yeah, but it's not much better if I say time to report the current, and future, the current and future atmospheric conditions. Really guys, the weather report is really important stuff. Did you know that weather predictions are used by farmers, military pilots, firefighters, utility companies, and ordinary people all over? Never thought about it that way. Wow, this is important. So, what's it look like for the next few days, Noah? Well, there's a lot of rain this week, but we but we need it. Just ask our dad. We haven't been on the boat for ever and forever. I miss lake boarding. Anyway, the highs will be in the 60s and 70s. Yep, and the lows at night will be in the 40s. Perfect. All right, guys, that's it for the weather report. He shoots, he scores! He shoots, he scores. You're out. It's time for some legacy sports. Ready all you football fans? I know you don't want to hear this, but our regular season is almost over. I know, it's pretty sad. 
There's only one more game in our regular season. Our varsity boys will play this Friday, November 8th at home against Colleyville Christian. This game starts at 7.30, so come out and cheer on our guys to victory. Remember, this is our last regular season game. Yeah, come out and be the 12th man for our team. Okay, remember, there's lots of football going on at Legacy. So if one game on Friday of football isn't enough, we have junior high and junior varsity games too. Basketball this week starts. Basketball starts this week. Our boys varsity basketball team has their first home game tonight at 7:30. The girls varsity basketball the basketball team plays too, but their game starts at six. So, so come out for both games and help our teams win big. Just like football, basketball has lots of other games too. There's junior high and junior varsity. For all the latest sports news, check out the Legacy website at www.legacyca.com and click Athletics. Go fight, win, go Eagles! Okay guys, get ready for the Buzz on Books with Miss Buzz on Books. Miss Hamilton is coming to bring us all your latest library news. Take it away, Miss Hamilton! It's so great to be on the show and get to share the library news and the birthday books with you. I know you are having a great day so far. I hope you are at least. Have you read all the jokes on the bulletin board outside of the library yet? Be sure to come by and read some of the funny jokes and maybe even stop in the library and check out a joke book. You can find the joke books in the non-fiction section in the 818 neighborhood. We will be changing the jokes and out, changing the jokes out weekly, so be sure to watch for new jokes. Well, let's get straight to the birthday books for this week. Our first birthday book was donated by Aaron Deach in Mrs. Blake's pre-K class. Aaron chose Lego Star Wars, The Yoda Chronicles. Thanks, Aaron, for a cool book. Aaron had a birthday this past Saturday. I hope it was a great one. Angel Taurus in Mrs. Majerus' fifth grade class had a birthday this Wednesday, November 6th, and he donated Can You Survive Lost at Sea? This is a cool news book in the series. We already have a huge list of books, who, a list of kids who want that book. So, this will be a great addition. Thank you. Madeline Hines in Mrs. Ludicky's first grade class also has a birthday this Wednesday, November 6th. She donated a cool book, nonfiction book, about a sea turtle named Carolina. This book is called Carolina's Story. This book talks about what happens when sea turtles get sick. Thanks, Madeline. Eric Erickson in Mrs. Ficknell's third grade class has a birthday on Saturday of this week on November 9th. Eric donated a, a book about panda bears. It has beautiful pictures inside. Thanks for such an awesome book about pandas. It's a great pick, Eric. Our last birthday book for this week is I Like Poodles by Logan Dartry in Mrs. Collins' third grade class. She donated it. Logan's birthday is Sunday of this week. Thanks, Logan. It's a great addition to our dog book section. That poodle on the front sure is cute. Well, that's the end for the Buzz on Books for the week. I hope to see you in the library soon. I'll see you next week on the show. Bye guys. Thanks Miss Hamilton, you rock. It's Bible trivia time. How much do you know about God's word? Our last Bible trivia question was one you probably already knew. We asked, with whom did David make a covenant, covenant or agreement to protect each other? Did you know this one? The answer is... What are you waiting for? Yeah, what gives, Avery? Shush, I'm building suspense. Okay, the answer is Jonathan. David and Jonathan, Saul's son, made an agreement to always protect one another. Okay, let's have a new question. This week's question, this week's question is a little tricky. Are you ready? Boy, now I'm building suspense. I don't know, but just say it. Okay, who did Herod send to find Jesus? Ooh, that's a good one. You can find the answer to this one in... No, don't tell them! That might give it away! Plus, we want to make this one challenging. So, no help where to find this. Okay, I guess that's it for Bible trivia. Okay, that's it for our show today. Since it's November, it's time for some turkey jokes. These were sent in by Mrs. Snyder's class. Thanks for straight, you're awesome. Ready? 
What happened to the turkey who ate too much corn? He got an earache. <laughs> Good one. How about this? What do you get when you cross a bottle, a turkey with a bottle of glue? Gobbly gobbly gook. <laughs> Those are good, but listen to this one. Okay, why isn't it safe for turkeys to do math? If they add three and five, they get eight. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite. Hey guys, with all the turkey jokes, I'm starting to feel a little gobble coming on. Yeah, I know what you mean. Bye, Bye. Have, have a gobble, gobble, gobble day. Gobble, 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 gobble